okay, I thought I'd do this video showing you the negative health effects of interracial quote-unquote marriage and miscegenation. There are plenty of, of negative health effects. I wrote this blog post on my blog going over the negative health effects, and I give the sources too, by the way. And also, the sources are, are many of which are actually from government websites. So it's not just me ranting and raving. It's me some, also kind of racist rant. It's actually from government sources they are saying this. So I'm going to read some of this to you. And this will be available in the description of my blog post. Uh, it says here, negative effects of race mixing. A 1989 study stated that the risk of spouse homicide was 7.7 .7 times higher in interracial marriages relative to interracial marriages, that the risk for white wives was 12.4 times higher than interracial, in interracial marriages than the risk, and that, and that the risk for white husbands was 21.4 times higher in interracial marriages. So spouse homicide is actually higher in interracial marriages. And I gave the source right there. It's actually from a government website. Next one, a 2010 study stated that interracial couples are, had a higher risk for intimate partner violence, including intimate partner violence causing physical injury and or arrest than both ethnic majority, minority and white couples. And again, source is right there. So spouse uh, abuse is actually higher. A 2005 study uh, stated that interracial marriage is associated with severe or increases in severe distress for Native American men and white women, and for Hispanic men and women married to non-white spouses, compared to indi indigo, again, not the best at reading on a computer, members of the same group. Uh, higher rates of distress are often observed for intermarried persons with African American or Native husbands or wives for, and for women with Hispanic husbands. And again, sources right there at science, sciencedirect.com. Uh, another study. A 2008 study, I'm just full screen this actually. 2008 study stated that partners in inter ethnic unions are generally reported lower levels of relationship quality than do partners in same ethnic unions. These differences held for women as well as men and for married, uh, and well, as well as collaborating cohabit. Co Again, I, I suck at reading on a computer, so I do apologize. Differences in relationship quality were largely accounted by more for more four by more complex relationships histories than heterogamous unions, uh, fewer shared values and less support from, from patients. In contrast, differences in socioeconomic resources did not apply or appear to play an extra explanatory role. <laughs> I suck at reading on a computer. This is why I like to read stuff on paper. And here's the health issues of mixed race and biracial individuals. And again, this is not racist, this is just, it's science. Uh, the National Health or National Household Hold Survey on Drug Abuse in 1999 stated that rate or ma that of the sorry that of the major eth racial and ethnic groups, drug abuse was highest among those reporting to be mixed race. So they have higher drug um, drug use basically. A, a 2002 study stated that the mean levels of three characteristics: verbal IQ, number of sexual partners, and birth weight were examined in African American, white, European descent Americans in black and white mixed race American adolescents. The same came from wave one, and it goes down there, uh, mean age of 16, but basically they have, they have different levels of IQ. Uh, a 2003 study stated that most earlier studies on mixed race adolescents found, had found increased risk for emotional health, uh, emotional health and behavior problems. The most common suggested explanation was identity problems leading to lack of self-esteem, social isolation, and family problems in mixed race households. And again, not just me doing some racist rant, it's from a government source, you know, .gov. And I, I archived it too, by the way. I made sure to archive it. A 2006 study found that increased risks for multiracial adolescents for various problems, including violent behavior. So they have increased risk, risk for violent behavior if you're uh, biracial. You still think it's healthy, you still think it's good. And I'm going to show you the scripture, by the way, where God condemns it. And God uh, says that kindreds ought to be separate. The biblical term is kindred, not race. Another 2006 study, which examined behavioral health, found that multiracial Hispanics, Latino adolescents, and multiracial non Hispanic adolescents had more behavioral health problems than um, monoracial Hispanic adolescents. A 2000, last one, a 2008 study uh, stated that over the past 40 years of Fraction of the fraction, sorry, over the past 40 years, the fraction of mixed race black white births has increased nearly ninefold, as one expects. And it goes down there. And when it comes to engaging risky antisocial behavior or adolescent behavior, however, mixed race adolescents are stark outliers compared to both blacks and whites. So they have a higher risk of 
engaging in antisocial adolescent behavior. You know, and all the sources are in the will be in the description too. So uh, opposing interracial marriage is not racist. It's actually morally right. So here's some scripture that where God uh, says that kindred should be separate. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse uh, 7 to, I think it's 7 to 8. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Look at this. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. God likes racial separation, kindred separation. It's not racist, it's biblical. So you just read there are all the health problems that come with interracial marriage. So it's not racist, it's actually scientific to say that it's not healthy. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.